Legends, it's time for a swift, quick little video for you tonight because for a daily vlogging channel, this is crap. I haven't been uploading daily in the slightest. But this video, it's never, ever too late to start making a positive life change as far as your health goes and uh, even your your mental side as well. Uh, exercise, and I never thought I would be the person to be coming on to YouTube and banging on about exercise and getting your your head sorted and getting it well. In all fairness, I am the guy that made conclusions, the short film on suicide awareness, so I am into getting your head right uh, as much as I can. But I'm going to let you into a little secret about the, uh, the whole health kick that I'm on. Um, for the longest time, I was on painkillers to try and manage the back injury, and you all know how that went down. If you've been following this channel on any length of time, 10, 15 years on painkillers, uh, fully got dependent on the painkillers. System wouldn't work without them. Took a full year and a half to detox off the painkillers. I'm free of them now for quite a while and all thanks to the exercise I'm able to control the pain I'm not I don't think I'll ever be 100% pain free but I am on a good on a good day I'm about 85-90% on, on a bad day I'm probably about 65-70 you know, still a bit of pain there it's always going to be there but the, the stronger I can keep the core muscles the better but a big big secret that not a, f a lot of people know a few people do know this um, the one of the big red flags for me to start into trying to find a new way to deal with the, the pain issue was one of the last visits I had with the doctor now um, for the 15 year period I was just going back and the prescription was kind of just getting upped every time but one day I was lucky enough to get one of the old school doctors you know, one of these guys that practiced back in the 70s and 80s and you know, these guys took the time to really get in there get a good look at you see what was going on and really really get to the core issue of the thing now for me uh, it was a blessing for this to happen because this this doctor sat me down and he got the records out and I looked through them and he says why are you on so many painkillers and I'm like that's just where I'm at that's just every time I come back here they just it's almost as if they want you in and out as quick as possible and just up the medication and send you in your way so that what was going on he looked at the records and he checked me out uh, at this stage we had the results of the MRI scan so he could see that there was a disc at the base of my spine is pretty much not 100% gone but there's a huge section of it missing and technically just the way I'm sitting in the car now I am essentially doing damage to the, that disc sitting down I can't even do that without the risk of actually doing more damage to myself so he's like right this is what you need to do this is going back probably about seven years at this point and I put the fear of God on me because he says if you don't do something now you're going to be looking at retirement in a wheelchair close to retirement he says somewhere between if you keep going on the way you're going now you're getting bigger you're getting fatter you're not doing anything to remedy the situation other than take the painkillers if you don't get your head sorted now get yourself and the shape protect that spine as best you can exercise you're going to end up in a wheelchair by the time you're 60 that's not something anybody wants to hear now I'm 42 years old at the minute and I'm a long way off 55 uh, retirement age uh, but you know in the grand scheme of things it's it's just the blink of an eye never you get it's weird like never you're a kid teenager you think that life is long you can't wait to get grown up get out into the world do your thing but see once you get out into the working world the time just starts to speed up it's unreal it's 10 years can be past you before you actually realize what's going on 
So there's something you didn't know about me and you know right now and the physical condition I'm in I just we have this thing at the, the gym now called uh my zone and a bit of a free ad for impaired fitness but you see this little guy here is that gonna focus in on it right this is like a little heart monitor and you wear this thing around your chest this little strap and the monitor is on there and there's there's a certain amount of points you have to get every month on this thing um, it keeps you on track with your exercise um, 1300 points in the month the more calories you burn the more points you get 1300 uh, there's different levels that you can hit there's, there's, you start off one month you're an iron uh, iron man it was iron man for a full month and then you go up through different levels and then uh, each level you get you have to do a little bit longer on it so you know the next month would be like was it two months and then three months something like that and then the last one that I was on you had to do for a full six months so I actually finished that on Monday night past and it got me to gold status on this thing which means I've actually hit the the UK recommended allowance for exercise is that even the way you would say that whatever exercise you have to get in a month the recommended level I've done it for a full 12 months now feeling absolutely fantastic I'm doing the one thing I didn't think I'd be able to do whenever I went into the gym with the bad back was deadlifting now I still am very weary whenever I'm doing a little bit of deadlifting in the gym but I'm, my confidence is getting higher and higher every time I do it and my strength is actually through the roof right now and you know I have twitched Twitch the back on and off. You'll have seen it in videos not that far back on this channel. Very recently I did it again. But that was just because I got that comfortable and that confident on where I was at that uh, I actually forgot to, you know, just be careful what I was doing. Turns out the back. So, you know, from somebody that went from seven years ago, thereabouts, been told, you're out of shape. You're going to end up in a wheelchair. Get yourself sorted. To now, like I've been going to the gym just probably just over two years at this point, and best physical condition in my life. So it's never, ever too late to start making a positive life change, whether it be physical or mental. Uh, you know, you have the the choice to either stay where you're at, or aim for that higher level and actually look after yourself because you know no one's going to do it for you and uh, you know thankfully the big up Empowered Fitness again I was always very very weary of personal trainers and um, that would have been the last thing I would have wanted to do you know by choice was just like because you think to yourself you know you see these guys uh, running gyms personal training and they're in fantastic shape. But you kind of think to yourself whenever you see these people that, you know, this this guy's been in good shape his whole life. And you know, what the hell does he know about being large? You know, it's just like, screw that. But uh, I was actually in high school with Melvin that runs in part fitness. And uh, Mel was a big guy back in the day. And uh, if he can get himself, that's what I was thinking before I joined the gym. If Mel can get himself under the physical condition he's in now, he can do it for me as well. He can keep me on track. So thankful that I actually did that. So take that from me, guys. It's your choice. Either physically or mentally. You can only change if you make the choice to do it yourself. No one's going to do it for you. So uh, never too late. Get started today. Whatever you need to do.